Hello everybody, this is Reynardo with another tutorial, but this time I'm actually doing it on my Mac. Sorry for the wind sounds, it's just that it's hot in my room right now, and I needed some fans. So, to start uh, to start this tutorial, this time I won't be doing a penguin actually, this time I will be doing a Pepsi bottle. I was just testing out different things, and by the end of the day, this is basically what I got. Let's see. I'm just gonna like save up some time. I'm gonna cancel that right there, and I'm gonna show you the model. That's how it is. Three lights, very simple camera, and the final picture will be let me close out of this. Is this one? Boom! What you guys think? It's awesome, and it's and cycles because cycles has a natural. It, glass thing glass material which we'll be using if you don't want to use cycles and you want to use blender render feel free but I'm not sure how that's gonna help you with uh, the tutorial so anyways let's get back to it hopefully nothing has gone wrong and I'm still recording if I'm not let me take a look I am still recording good and no, that's not it. Uh, new, I want a new one. Okay, you start off, you start off like that. Let me make this big so you can see. You start off and you get something like this. Yeah, great. But obviously, the Pepsi bottle or the drink is not gonna be a square. So, first things first, let me just do this really fast delete that add a, add a circle we're gonna add a circle we're gonna press 1 press 5 and press and if this is not up if it's up then you don't need to press N and we're gonna add an image background image uh, let's go the wrong way okay open and downloads and I don't have the pictures. That's good because you know, on the other tutorial, I, I tried making a tutorial before and it did not work. But this time, I'm gonna try my best to make it work. So let's look it up. Pepsi. Sorry for my typing, that is slow. But we needed something like this. This is it. This is exactly what we need. And we're gonna press view image and then the image should download. So now it's in download, and I want to go out of this. And I go here, oh, open, go to downloads this time. It's this one, and just to do some slight adjustments, have it on the front view and not the side view, it doesn't matter, and opacity all the way up. Now, as you can see, that's, there's like a red marking all over it. I like that, and I'm hoping that we can make something like that. So, later on, I'll be making that. For, but for now, let's just get started. Scope, let's scope this circle right here until it is the right one. We'll make sure it's in edit mode. Let's have into edit mode. Into it. Let's Z so you can see right through it. Mm, like that. Let's go up a little. Extrude. Let's Z. Right there. Let's go up. Extrude. Z. Go there. Exactly there. Scale it. Extrude, let's see, scale up to somewhere there, bring this one down, extrude, scale, this time I'm gonna bring it up a little, extrude, move it up, and like that, extrude again, I'm gonna see, and this is gonna be the inside, I'm just gonna do something like that. 
this. And I get it to something I like. Something pretty decent. Maybe up to here. And scale this part up there like that. Now let's work with this outside part. It's gonna be up to there. So I'm working on the outside. Gonna be different. It's basically like tracing it. What we're doing. But right here at the bottom, you're just gonna be like closing it up a little. And then extruding it and Scaling it, maybe like that. Extrude, scale, some, move it up. Extrude, scale, move it up. A, oh, move it up a little. Extrude, right click, left click, whichever you have, so that. And then at the center, and it looks kind of like that at the moment. And the inside, it looks it just has this part right here. So we want hey, we're obviously gonna be needing more. And then extrude this. This is pretty simple right here. It's just extruding the scaling a lot. Oh, yeah, something like that. This one, let's go. I choose oh, um, center. Okay. And then select all, control N. Tap out of it. So it's kind of like that. We gotta smooth it out because it's smooth out, and we have it. We want like some sharp corners and some swaps. Now press Control R and add the sharp corners. Control R. Voila. Maybe somewhere there. This time, quick trick. Select all that. Control B. And then it bevels it. And then it's going to add an extra one. Like that. It looks nice. So far, you got the whole entire bottle, except. The and the cool design when you look at it like that, it has like markings like that. Well, you could probably do that with texturing, but we're not gonna do it with texturing because we're gonna be professionals at this. Or maybe not. Maybe you're just trying to do this part time. I don't know. You tell me if you want. And. Control, wait, would it be control B? Yes. Control B? Nope. P. Separate. That's what it was. Now I'm gonna click on that one and scroll this one. Add a modifier and it's gonna be a simple deform. As you can see already, it's already looking like it's, so, it's going kind of to the side and that's exactly what we want but we want to put this up to like a hundred 
and 20, I think. 120. Let's see. Nope. Thus. How much? Tell me. Tell me. Okay. Oh, that's what it was. I forgot to press Control R and add a bunch of loops here. I had to add a bunch of loops or I won't get the right pattern that you want it to get. Okay, so that makes sense. Now I want 20. Oh, that looks even better, you see? Uh, it just goes like that. Now, you just gotta apply it. And then you already have the markings like that, but you kind of don't want it always to be like that. You want something right here. Just all rotate on the key. No, not like that. Rotate on the key. Not all rotate on the key. Not too much. Maybe. Sometimes you just do that until you get like a thick pattern. It just goes like that. It doesn't have to be exact. It just has to be enough exact. You could align it with the ones above. The vertices above. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I'll have to check later. Now you're gonna join them again this time. And oh, it did not join. Did it? Control J. Okay. Now it's joined. G on the Z. Okay. Now, the good thing about all this is that it separated it with an OS of a gap that you can actually move around. So you're just gonna be in this and then control and then W and then raise edge loop. Press that tab out of it and then you can see the result up there. Shift all W bridge edge loop. Okay. Okay so right now we have what we wanted. Now let's take a look around. Make sure nothing looks wrong. Okay, let's, it looks good. Face select. First one should be somewhere here. So there. To uh, if I follow it, it ends up up there. So control. And now we're gonna go by three. One, two, three. Shift. Oh. Oh, that did not work. Control Z. Hmm. There. And you just get it every single three or something. It should not take you too long. Then it looks fine. Now extrude, scale, and then do it that much. Or as much as you think it might be. Go to one. It already has the smoothness. Now you could also add a subdivision surface. And it looks like that.
No, that looks awesome. Right. Let me rethink all that. So now we have that, and we could go to cycle render. We could press one. We can move the bottle up. G on the Z. Move it up to there, I think. And take the image out so I can see the background. To there. Then Control Alt Shift C. And Origin to 3D Cursor. So if I scale it, I scale it around that. Yeah, that's awesome. And now for Shift A. Plane. Scale this one. Plane that much at least. Tab on this edge right here. Three. Extra probably like that of an angle. Click on that one. Press Control B to bevel it and bevel it like that. And then smooth it out. Obviously. And it looks kind of like that. So if you press Shift C, and the perfect will, it's like a really nice lighting. Sarah. Now here, you could press walk camera to view, and then just position it into an angle that you want it to be. Take this out, scale this. On the X, it looks nice so far. Now, from here, I will click on the bottle and go here and press new. And instead of diffuse, I'm gonna put a glass. That looks awesome. But actually, I don't want a glass right now. I don't want anything because I need to make the soda inside. Ooh. Now all you need to do is be able to get the right edge, which is right that one. Then control plus a couple times. Until you get it to wait, no control minus there. Control plus. Control one. Control. Do the soda up to. Control R and then do it up to somewhere under it so I could at least see it. Control plus perfect. Now I'm gonna press. Shift D for duplicate and then press P. Oh. P selection. Now there are two separate objects right now. This one's the soda and this one's the bottle. So I'm gonna name them. Instead of circle, I'm gonna call this one bottle. So that okay. Now we got the bottle. This one will have the glass now, and the glass, and this one will have something like the color that so that it's kind of like a reddish brown, and it's somewhere around. No, I'm gonna go more towards brown. Somewhere there, dark, very dark. Like that. Not if I 
Scale that up a little. Zero. Maybe there's not enough lighting. I mean, I don't know, that's why I couldn't click on these notes. A thousand. Well, that's a hundred. One thousand. That's pretty bright. Bring it this way. Change the color to like a. Then shift D. This one will be more that way. So five, uh, a thousand will be five hundred. Then this one will be kind of red. Very red. Okay. Let's see. Zero. I don't like that, but it's, I don't like this. Too dark. Okay. I'll turn it around. Maybe it's because it looks too empty, the scene. The scene looks too empty. Maybe I should add like a bottle cap or something. Yeah, I'll add a cap. Circle. This circle I'll bring up. Scale. That's so many vertices. It is perfect. Extrude. Extrude. Extrude size. Bring it up a little again. Bring this one up a little. Maybe that much. Extrude, size it a little, extrude, size, and then this part, this time I'll bring this part up, and then scale it, not enough so it could go through, enough so we could see what it is, oh and I forgot to close up this part up here, extrude, uh, extrude, Oh, um, center. Smooth this out. Yeah, uh, oh, man. Looks kind of fine, but it needs every single in between one. Got what key was the repeat key? Where you got the repeat command? That will be completely useful right now. Oh, okay. Hmm. And then scale this one up. This. this will have a new material, this one will be 
Blue material. Whatever color you want. I don't know. You pick. The drink looks kind of like that. If you did it exactly how I did. If you didn't, then it might look different. And I think that's all for today. Let's see. How long has it been? Fine. 22 minutes. Wow, that has been pretty fast, actually. Maybe we could add more to it. Yeah. Definitely add more to it. Gosh, this type of render does not look too good. Especially when this feels like it's all facing the wrong way. There it is. Oh, I heard something, a cool trick before. If I do this. It gives that nice effect. Now, what I will be needing is for this to have its own material. And this one to be kind of an emitter. Let's see, emission. Ugh, that looks kind of weird. Okay, no, not like that. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. It actually emphasizes on this last part, which is the most important part. How about if I make this and then have it standing on something like this? Get all this part. Put a new material on this one, and then this one will be. I don't know. Instead of being that high, a little well, I have one zip up at point five. Ooh. It definitely changes things. Hoping I wouldn't need this for this. But that actually like speed it up. I feel like it's not gonna speed it up because the lights are just moving. Hmm. Lamp. Sun. Rotate. This actually looks way better than the last one, but I haven't even turned up the sampling or nothing. Let's see. Mm. Samples. It's 32, so let's see, 50. And then this one will be instead of 129. 200. Usually, higher number means better resolution, so I'm just gonna try 500 instead. And then let's see how that looks. I'm gonna try for just for better things. Have a preset for it. Okay. Now, this is gonna be rendering out. See how cool that looks? It's already adding like pixels. It's already kind of looking like soda, which is exactly what we wanted it. So, yeah, that's all you have to do. You don't need to do too much to make soda. But if you want to make the logo, I suggest watching a video where it shows how to work with the transparency of things. I saw one with like a leaf or something. I forgot who it was. I'll look it up right here. You guys just like follow along with this. I probably won't leave the this script. Wow, the link below. 
because I don't know how to do uh, too much of those things. I recently started my YouTube channel, so let's see. Um, now by accident it stopped. I think as soon as I connected my flash drive, this is the final render that we were working on. Hopefully you guys like it. Yeah. And enjoy it. And if not, I don't know. It, oh wait, I was gonna show you the other one that I was working on. This is the one that we we're working on. And the one I did at school looks kind of like, let me see, right here, should be, mm, this, no, no, there's it, that one, let's see, da, 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 da. that's the bottom line, I think that's it, yep, this is it. Let me hide this thing. And I don't have the logo apparently. So yeah, I just have to get a logo. Hopefully it has the same texture okay so for that I will need to get the Blender logo which I can find really easily I just take one that's very simple on all of this and it has to be this type of image and not I open that, don't open it like that. The image, save image as, or yeah, save it as something, but I'm just gonna put it in my downloads. Get it out, get out of that. Let's see, it's still recording. Yes, it is. And what was it? Oh, wait. oh, that's what it is. I have to go to notes so I can actually click it, get it from there. Hmm. From here, and then it is down documents downloads. I think this is it. Open image. Let's see how it looks when it's rendered. Zero. Zero. Okay. Looks way different. Yeah. That makes sense. Because, like, last time I didn't have that image, I had something like. What was it? It, it just said Pepsi on it. goes this let's see yeah it was this but I had taken out the white from it and with Photoshop because in my com it, the school computers I have they had Photoshop but anyways I show you guys how to do that really fast right here you will connect the image you go to why is this not working I think my mouse is off or something or it's not working properly. There it is. Okay, so that will go connected to factor. You will have to have the diffuse, like basically normal, and then connect it to shader. Number, uh, the second one on a mix shader and transparent, and then connect it to the second. And then that will go to surface. And when it comes out, it comes. Oh, that's what I did. I put a red. That would make a lot more sense where I could get the red, uh, red line from. Because if I go to zero and then I render this one, it looks 
looks way better. Or actually, I won't render it like, out of that. Because I got like the whole entire video I think I could show you guys. See? Oh no no. Is it here? No, it's not. So yes, I will have to render it. And then I was trying to like skip on some work because I had already rendered it actually. Anyways, let, let this render. And Oh, that makes sense. No, no, it's not gonna render. No. Ish. Oh. Oh, ish. Oh, that's why. Oh, ish. That's what it was. I'll have to bake this before anything so you guys could at least see one frame of it. What's the first frame? Yeah. That should be enough. Let's get like a good frame. Something like that will be fine. Now I go here, render, and it won't look like uh, the other one look. This one will look better. See that? That is what I. This is what I handed in at school. Uh, now I know where to get like that mark right there. That is because I added a plane in the corner instead of a light. I added a plane, which actually reflected off the glass. I should have thought of that. Anyways, I have this one open, so in the meantime, I can reload. And that also means you guys can take a better look at my materials for the bottle. Which right now I have the Pepsi, the soda, which is just a diffuse, and I guess I just apply all those to this value right here. 0 0.029, 0 0 0.029, 0 0.009, 0 0.009, 0 0.004, and a hey, this red one has to be a diffuse, and then that's basically. It. I don't think this one has any notes added to it. No editor. Nope. That's that's all. Yeah, it doesn't have any notes. All, all of them have that. See, it shows it, and it shows it like if it was like covered right there. And it doesn't show the Pepsi because the, the spot where it's supposed to show it is not large enough. And I think, oh, that's another thing. I did not UV unwrap this one. Or did I? Did I actually UV unwrap? That would make a lot more sense. Too. You had to do some UV image editing right here. And it has to be this, this one, I guess. Yeah. Cancel this for the meantime. But you guys already got a better look at it. This is what it looks like when it came out. Had like a foot simulator on it. That and that makes sense. Just go on the Z on the Y. See? Y. See, that looks better. Make sure it's not a PMG, but 
it's not JPEG, but it's a PMG, the picture. Because a PMG can have like the transparency. And as soon as you do all that, it's going to come out exactly like that. How I did it. But make sure you UV, uh, UV unwrap a certain spot. It's not just UV unwrap all of it. So then when you UV unwrap that spot and the uh, logo comes out, you press zero under, ca uh, so from, uh, under camera. And it looks like that. It looks awesome. Pepsi logos on it. I'm not. I'm not sponsoring Pepsi. I just decided to do a Pepsi can. No, not can. Bottle for school. So I decided to make a tutorial on it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you didn't, then you could also look up other tutorials. I don't know. If you liked it, press like. If you did not like it, well, yeah, I already said that. If you can subscribe to my channel, I'm Renato Schermetti, and 